computer machine can be defined as an electronic device whose work is to uh, process data into information and a set of instruction. Uh, a computer machine has got three major components. That is the hardware, the software, and the users. Those are the three major components where the hardware refers to the tangible or physical components of the computer machine. Uh, things like uh, the keyboard, the mouse, the monitor, etc. Uh, we can refer to them as uh, uh, hardware components. The software components refers to the uh, set of instructions that enables the computer machine uh, to perform specific tasks. And the softwares can be classified into two, that is the system softwares and application software. Lastly, we have got the uh, users, uh, which refers to the people who interact with the computer machine. Because a computer machine is not, it doesn't work automatically. It needs uh, a human interference so that it can be able to perform specific tasks. So generally, my interest today is goes to the software and specifically the system software where uh, we are going to cover uh, something small about uh, operating system and in this case i will be focusing my uh, session on the ms dos uh, remember this is the first operating system that was designed by microsoft and as you know that um, windows is the operating system which comes from the um, microsoft which was designed back in um, uh, not back uh, the current version being windows 10 so generally window ms dos was the uh, kind of the first operating system that was uh, designed by the um, microsoft now without wasting time first of all i would like to uh, ask you to subscribe if it's your first time to be on this channel and again make sure you share this link to as many people as you can and uh, make sure you also like the video because uh, that's how you normally support this channel and give me a motivation to kind of do other videos like these ones so let's get back and uh, operating system refers to the uh, uh, the software that enables interaction between the hardware components and the users and generally the other part of the software which is the application software as you know that uh, as i said uh, softwares can be classified into two that is the system software and also the application softwares system softwares are the ones that uh, we normally refer to the softwares that enables the hardware components and the other components like the application softwares and uh, also the users to interact together and in this case we have got uh, operating system and other utility softwares and as i've defined an operating system refers to the softwares that enables interaction between the hardware components uh, the application softwares and uh, what we refer to as the, 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 the users. So generally, uh, a good example of operating system now it's Windows, and uh, a good example of application software are things like, um, like as you can see there is here I'm using Mozilla, which is uh, an application software, a browser, sorry. And also we have got uh, things like uh, MS Word, MS Excel. Those are good examples of uh, application softwares and uh, for you to be able to use those kind of software you need the operating system so generally when you purchase a new computer first of all as one of the first softwares that you need to make sure you have in your machine is the operating system because that is the first that will enable uh, you as a user uh, to be able to interact with the hardware components that is the machine and also be able to kind of use other application softwares as i said uh, ms word ms excel and so forth now um we have got uh, various examples of uh, operating system and in this case as i said in this machine i'm using windows 10 which is the current version but uh, generally microsoft was the first uh, it came up with the first operating system which was ms dos and that's where we want uh, to cover today but also now as you can see here i have got ios which is an operating system that is used in um, uh, what we refer to as uh, this type of smartphone called uh, iphone it's a product from uh, apple and uh, as you can see it's something that uh, uh, is worth the price i know most of you normally say it's very very expensive actually like here in kenya you normally say that uh, it will cost you like almost of a hundred uh, of a hundred thousand which is approximately almost <laughs> a piece of land somewhere in rural area so um 
there is another operating system which is also uh, meant for um, uh, mobile phones that is android android is a product from google and um, this is an open source and as you know that um, uh, sometimes back when Nokia they were in the field uh, and they, they were advised to adjust to making their hardware that is their smartphone or their phones to kind of use this of type of operating system they ignored but uh, it ended up sweeping them in the market and as you know right now it's very hard to find uh, Nokia products though they are in the market still but it was uh, a challenge it became a challenge to them also to kind of uh, uh, sell their products with other different types of operating system there was a time they were using something to do with this there is a ms windows phone something like that so windows operating system was designed for mobile phones and tablets things like those ones so these are the major two types of the operating system that you'll find in um uh, mobile phone that is iOS for Apple uh, that is iPhones and there is Android which is uh, being used by a wide number of um, uh, other companies that normally deal with uh, smartphones now we in the computer machine we have got um, these windows which is the major well known I will get back to that and then we have got uh, Mac OS which is well known for the MacBooks computers so uh, this is it and it's another product which is amazing so I remember Apple is a, it was started back by uh, the late Steve Jobs and uh, it has done very well uh, it has uh, came up with the various types of innovation uh, things like uh, i4 i4 i think something like that and so forth so generally something that you can consider it's a it's a it's a product that has a good uh, market share all over the world also and it's doing very well then we have got uh, Linux, which is a f uh, free operating system that is open operating system. And we have got uh, different um, products that come from Linux. As you can see, there is Ubuntu and so forth, as you can see here. So these are pre operating system that um, most of people will refer to here is the best uh, operating system when it comes to things like security and so forth because these are good products. As you know, uh, the Kali Linux version is the one which is used, widely used for um, uh, ethical hacking and so forth, stuff like uh, stuff like those ones. So even this one that uh, it's used by the hackers. So uh, you can also consider using uh, Linux, which is free, open source. Uh, you can make use of it, and you will not pay anything. Uh, similar to Android, also it's a free operating system. Sorry for that sound, which is coming from uh, the background. Uh, it's a kid who is playing out there. <coughs> so um. We have got uh, what we refer to as now the Windows. Windows, as I said, we had uh, what we refer to as uh, MS Windows, which was the first operating system. And uh, generally, the one thing that I want to take you uh, step by step is that um, when uh, started, when people started using computers, they used to read a number of commands. That's why we want to cover Windows so that you can get to understand some of the basic commands that uh, you will come across with the Windows. So. MS DOS was the you you had to cover through uh, learn some few commands that you would uh, now type to the computer, then the computer will respond. Then uh, it was now becoming very difficult because it was uh, they came up with so many commands that uh, it was very hard for you to cram all of them, and uh, now they came up with what we refer to as the menu menu interface. So we are generally talking about the interface of the, of the the ways the operating system used to communicate with people up to the uh, what we normally use right now. So uh, a long time ago they used to write the commands. Now they come up with the menu. As you can see, if I right click, I can see this menu drop down menus, and I can select whatever I want from here. So from the command line, we came to menu. From menu now we have got this icon. This is the what we refer to as the graphical user interface. Instead of uh, having this going through the commands you can check an icon and you can respond uh, you can click on an icon and the icon is going to respond for you uh, to you so in that case this is now what we refer to as the graphical user interface which is widely used but it doesn't mean menu it is not also used it we normally have we have when you develop in software you have to come up with also menu interface in some cases but uh, graphical user interface is uh, something which is good because uh, it comp it incorporates other people like uh, especially if we talk of um, 
uh, the deaf people maybe who cannot hear maybe somebody uh, you can uh, you can under easily understand even someone who cannot understand maybe read and understand something like that if they can see specific icons they will know this is used to do abcd and all that now um after um, uh, commands menu and graphical user interface now you know that things have evolved Kuna, uh, we have got those kind of operating system that uh, normally re respond like uh, maybe like when you swipe uh, your hand it will respond there are those who now will s respond to gestures uh, things like um, that there's something to do with like uh, if you want to scroll up uh, uh, like a page you know your phone on your phone I you can just uh, scroll like it can respond to your eyes how your eyes m are moving something like that so those are kind of uh, some other things that are coming up and uh, like in windows 10 you can also communicate with your computer and the computer can respond so there is that voice command that you can use in your system so in our today's session as i said i want to go through the few commands that are basic when it comes to windows and uh, in this case like for example let me open like um, drive c so that you can get to know how we normally do it now i want i have opened drive c and i want to kind of work with uh, from the, you can see the graphical interface side here and I will open the CMD so open the CMD you can just write CMD and it's going to show up there then you press enter and automatically this is what you're going to see now the next thing is uh, assuming like I want to get the drive C I'll just write CD slash that is forward slash and automatically as you can see it has taken me to the drive C and in case if I want to list what is in drive C I can write DIR and uh, as you can see there is these folders that we have here they are also listed here now assuming if I want to go to a specific folder like users I would just write let me change to uh, caps lock file so that I can write CD then users that is a CD to like change of direction a uh, directory to the users so something like that and if I press enter as you can see it has responded and in this case I can double click here and uh, if you want to see maybe something like a, a folder there is Eric uh, let me like kind of change to Eric to document so in that case I want to go to like two folders so CD Eric uh, slash uh, documents uh, that is where I want to get sorry it means I have an error uh, I've said CD um, Eric yeah I, I, I read I have written Eric without key so that is the problem documents yeah it's supposed to be documents and uh, as you can see it has responded now I'm in Eric folder uh, documents in the documents folder so if I can write DIR to list whatever it's in there uh, you can see there is zero byte it's nothing so if I need to create a folder you normally write um, MKDIR and you write the name of folder I can write Eric banks and uh, press enter and in that case you can see a folder has been created uh, let me get into this folder that is CD and um, something like um, uh, er uh, sorry uh, Eric banks like that and press enter now I'm inside Eric banks now assuming you are told maybe uh, to create what uh, let me clear first CLS to clear now inside the record banks I want to create a document something like that like a file a text file you normally write um, for, a, for, a, for, a, for a for a document you normally write copy con uh, and then the name of file that is then uh, can write like cv.txt then I press enter and you type whatever you want to type there so I can say uh, my name is Eric um, and this you can say this is uh, called star technologies uh, the home of innovation then I can say good bye like that and then control Z to save then you press enter and your document has been saved and as you can see here uh, the document has been created if I can open you can see my name is Eric and this is called star technologies the home of innovation uh, goodbye something like that 
So or assuming I want to delete the file, no, to rename the file, I can write rename uh, cv.txt. Alafu, I can write uh, wasifu, uh, wasifu.txt. Uh, uh, I used to kufunza uh, kiswahili. So I think wasifu is cv, if, I, <laughs> if I'm not wrong. So rename uh, that one to that one. So you can see it has changed. Assuming I want to delete, I can write del, then wasifu dot txt and press enter and your document is uh, deleted uh, to go to the root directory as i said cd press enter to come back to the same same folder like the document folder because i want to delete to show you how to delete a folder i've shown you how to delete a document for document you write del to rename is r e n r e n sorry so cd um, yeah, users users i think it's users uh, slash eric eric i said it has k then documents when you press enter i think i'm inside document and i can say write dir press enter and as you can see i've been listed to show you the folders so the folder that i want to delete is the eric so to delete a folder you just write rd erico banks and that's how you do it and you press enter and now you can see inside that folder of ours there is nothing like a folder i have deleted the folder so to delete the folder is uh, rd then you write the name of the folder to delete a file you write del the name of the file and uh, to rename a file is ren uh, the new the old name and the new name of the file to create a file is copycon uh, then you write the name of the file and so forth so you can just pause and range so that you can get to learn much about these commands these are commands that you'll encounter when you're doing like a neck exam it be asked something like that uh, uh, something else like um uh, casnet is something that i used to train also you used to cover those commands and for the guys who are also doing secretarial especially neck something that you realize that uh, you will have to cover it so i think you've learned something new you can treat uh, some you can work uh, play with those commands and uh, get to learn more now uh, to get to know more commands you can write uh, help and as you can see they can list you list some few commands here which you can get to understand how they work uh, so you can read the commands like give its path how do you display a path replace rename re, and all that you get to learn more about it and uh, that is it so generally uh, i hope you've learned something new today and uh, can you practice so that you can get to uh, learn more about these commands they are very important in some cases yeah so uh, to exit you can write exit and uh, no first of all is, uh, yeah i think i showed you to clear it's that way and to exit is exit and you press enter and that one is uh, closed that is the windows is closed and that's how people use to interact with the computer machine so as i said make sure you subscribe to this channel if it's your first time share to as many as you people as you can and uh, advise them also to subscribe because we want the channel to grow also and again if there is a, any topic that you might need, uh, need me to cover feel free to let me know about that video and uh, we are going to um, uh, get to cover it together and uh, share the link together so the last thing as i said make sure you like the video because the more you like the video the more even it gives me motivation and um, increases the chances chances of sorry of the video uh, getting to uh, access to, to be accessed by uh, many people that is uh, it improves the visibility on the youtube search engine so that is it and uh, i hope you, you have learned something as, as something that is going to help you uh, in one way or the other in your daily operation either maybe you are you are going to work as um as it specialist or in any field within the it i think you've learned something uh, new now in my video I, uh, next video i will be covering something to do with the uh, just a few uh, commands that you can you need to have in the field of it when especially to get to learn more about networks and so forth so that is it for today and thank you guys uh, continue supporting this channel 
uh, we'll continue the conversation up for comments at least uh, to make us get to know much about um, uh, the, some of the few commands that you normally play with and uh, they normally help you in one way or the other especially was well, linux i know you like uh, they, they, they like using commands so you can share with us those commands there and we will appreciate so thank you guys and uh, have a nice time see you on the next video as i said so goodbye